spotted a big school of fish. Oh, I've got something. Look who's coming to play. Whoa. Now this is really exciting. Look at it going. It's not right, we're gonna see any. What, <laughs> what is that bird eating? A ghost crab. Good morning and welcome back to another episode. Yeah, welcome back, guys. This morning we've got a really nice high tide which has allowed us to get out on the boat and explore a totally new area. And from first glance, this is probably the most picturesque place we've come across. It's absolutely beautiful, hey? Oh, joy. It's so nice. And at some point we need to catch something for lunch. Yeah, as always, we're going after a new species, guys. So hopefully this area, we can find something new. It's gonna be fun, guys. Let's get straight into the action. That tiny island over there. Oh, that's a perfect cast. They're gonna swim straight over that. They're mullets. Ready, ready, ready. He's on it, friend. Big one's on it, big one's on it. Oh, they're huge. Just spotted a big school of fish Cruising the sand flats here, I'm gonna get up and see if we can cast to them. Oh, bugger, it seems that they're just a bit too spooked right up in the shallows um, and they're heading away from us. That would have been exciting, Fran. Oh, it was exciting, but it would have been very cool. Wow, look at this palm trees. They're right on the water. It's crazy. So beautiful, hey? The palms are hanging over the clear water. Looks like a postcard, doesn't it? So these channels must have been formed from the big swell hitting on the other side and then breaking a hole um, through the landmass here. Look how many birds. So many birds around the drone, but they're always just quick enough to get out of the way. I think they're just checking it out. I don't think they've seen too many drones before. I love these white cockles birds. Yeah, they're amazing, aren't they? That's a drone there in between all the birds. There's so many. Look at these colored film trees. It's so big. I think this is my favorite section here, Fran. With the farm trees? Yeah, you could jump out of a coconut tree into the water. You should do it. Oh, there's a big school of fish here. Are they bonies? Oh, friend, they're all bonefish. There was a school of uh, probably a hundred bonefish, and one was about three times the size, one huge one. But we spooked them. Oh, perfect cast. Surely they got spooked. <laughs> I'm gonna jump in quickly to see if I can get anything on this sphere, and uh, Jackie's gonna cast from the boat, see if he can catch anything on the line. And unfortunately, we don't have too much longer here. The tide, as you can see behind us, is rapidly dropping out. We don't want to get stuck high and dry here, so we've probably got 30, 45 minutes here before we've got to go out with the tide. Wish us luck. Pressure's on, friend. So there's going to be quite a bit of current coming this way, so I'm dropping Fran as far up as we can get before we get to the breaking waves and she'll drift back with it. All right, go for it. Fish is all so little. There was a bumper kind of fish. Where did it go? There is a huge school of those bump head parrotfish here, and we don't want them to eat. They don't take a lure. They stand out so much in the shallow water. We'll sneak up on them. Must have touch a pretty turtle. Fran's just about to see them underwater. They're generally a bit spooky, so they might actually all take off now. Yeah, she's just spotted them. So the waves that are crashing over the reef there, they bring in nutrient-rich water from the deep waters there. So it actually means that even though the water's quite shallow here, it does have potential to hold a fair bit of fish life. Uh, and on the higher tide, which is now, the bigger fish can come in and hunt in here. So our target species would be a bluefin trevally that you guys know are nice to eat, or a yellow lip emperor, or a flowery cod, or a coral trout. Oh, well that was a bluefin, that's a bluefin. He's, he's chasing it, he's chasing it. Right on cue, that was exciting. I've got something. I don't think it's gonna be big enough for dinner or lunch, but it's a fish. Woo, it's jumping. 
We've got a barracuda. Look at the teeth on him. While he doesn't look so big or scary at the moment, this is actually a great barracuda and they grow into quite an impressive, scary specimen. Um, they get over two meters long. So I'm gonna get the hook out and get him back in there. One of the craziest sets of teeth out of all the fish. See you, mate. Hello, we should probably get out of here. Jack is still over there. Oh, I can see a turtle coming this way. There's so many turtles here. Oh, she got scared. Look at her going. <laughs> Bye, did you let me to scare you? Wonder how Fran's going over there. At least the water's nice and clear for her. We've got something, but once again, I don't think it's going to be dinner. These cod are the most commonly caught fish when you're using a little lure. They just jump all over it. Let him go. Ooh, having a little bit of action now, but once again, I don't think it's going to be dinner. These guys, a dark tail snapper, quite appropriately named with his dark tail there. And they actually don't get too much bigger than this, so not really a sought after one for food, but I'll let him go. So what did you see? So nothing too big. There were a couple of goldfish, which we found out they are delicious. Yeah. But we are after a new species, so I didn't spear them. And there were a lot of turtles. Oh, nice. And we don't want to eat turtles, just to clarify for the yeah. viewers. Oh, sharks. To the yeah. next spot. Yeah, we better push out to the next spot. These ones are all turtles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Crazy. Look who's coming to play. Hey guys! That's amazing, eh? Huh? There's that water color. Unbelievable. The water is so clear. I don't think I've ever seen it this clear. This is absolutely magic. It's like snorkeling from the boat here. Look at this. Just pulled up here. This is the shipwreck from the previous episode, but in very different conditions. We're just gonna have a quick snorkel. Just amazing, the water is so clear today and we actually don't have too long left exploring this area. So while the weather's like this, we're gonna make the absolute most of it. Uh, we're gonna head to a, a new spot now and of course we've got to spear something to eat. So that's the game plan. Let's see if we can get something tasty. You ready to go spearing, Fran? I'm ready. What are you hoping to get? Um, hopefully we can get a new species of coral trout and it's called coronation trout. Let's see if we can get one of those. It's Jack's favorite and i got a cook up in mine <laughs> and we haven't got one of them yet so let's go after one of them yeah the coronation trout love the reef drop off so that's where we're going to go dive now and we've seen a couple of them but they're generally pretty smart so you can't always get them but fingers crossed today we get lucky can't get over this day this is as good as it gets so clear just bought a something here we don't know what it is man it's so a turtle. Why? You can see all the fish from here. What can you see? There's a big school of rainbow runner which we saw from the boat. That's a good sign. Anyway, lots of fish around. All right, change of plan. There's just a huge flock of birds up here which should mean uh, feeding fish. Let's go see if we can catch something.
Now this is really exciting. So all this algae here forms a bit of a, a layer on the surface that little fish come and hide underneath it for protection. And that of course brings in bigger fish. So we're just trolling some lures around it. Fingers crossed there's, uh, there's a few bigger fish here. Got something on. I've got the rod tied in here so it doesn't fall out, so I can't fight it properly. What do we got? A little one. Hey, little, eh? You can keep barracuda. And that's why the sharks jingle for it. I'll just get this hook out for him. No luck. Back to plan A. Let's go spear fishing. Oh, I'll see you in there. You can see Jack from up here. Can you see him? a coronation trout down here just as we'd hoped. No way. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna like, load my spear gun and go for him. trout we were after. Well done. Look at Beauty, that. hey? Perfect. How was it? I didn't even finish to get ready. It is beautiful and clear and there was a couple of coronation trout on the bottom. Just so, so happy to get one. Yum. There was also a couple of turtles mating. Really? Yeah, and there was a few sharks around so it was just like an awesome little drift. So nice. Well done. Beautiful coronation trout. These guys, I think, are my favorite fish. I know I say that way out. A lot of fish, but these guys are my favorite favorite because they're just so beautiful, they taste delicious, and they're so tricky to hunt when you're trying to spear them. I remember I caught one of these when I was about six years old, and from then on, I've just been obsessed with them. They're just the most amazing looking fish. Look at the colors and that big lunar tail and like the purple spots on it. Brand, it's just so beautiful, aren't they? So pretty. All right, it's my turn to jump in now. We already got dinner, so I don't have to stress about it. And I'm just gonna take you around and see what fish we can find. Find a shell. He's got one big claw. No, Jack. <laughs> All right, we're back at base camp now, and it's just the most beautiful afternoon. Check this out. We've got quite the cook up in mind for you guys. I reckon you guys are gonna love this. It's one of my favourite ways to cook up fish. Pretty excited for it. <laughs> There's a beautiful high tide coming in, which, as you guys now know, brings in some larger fish. Fran's got the rod, and she's ready. I'm 
Yeah. That is a beautiful piece of coral. Nice. So nice. What happened? Can you see the lure on that thing? Oh, you got it back. How did you get here? <laughs> this is crazy. Check out all these hermit crabs here. There must be something juicy on the bottom end of this coconut tree. They're loving it. It's actually like really cool smorgasbord of different hermit crab shells. Which one's your favorite? Yeah, I'm coming, yeah. How is it? Oh, it feels so hot here. That, that was very refreshing. Right. This campsite is so good. There's so much firewood, but there's a storm coming. Need to hurry up to get the fire going, Jack. You can feel it in the air. Today in the Back to Basics Beach Kitchen, we are doing crispy skin coral trout, shallow fried with a bit of olive oil with a squeeze of fresh lemon on top. And that's gonna be served with a cob of corn roasted over the fire with salt and butter. And this recipe here with the coral trout, any of the OG viewers that watched The Great Adventure One, this is what we used to do with the barramundi that we caught and it was absolutely beautiful, one of our favorites. Let's see how it goes with the trout. gonna chop them into nice size portions. All right, we're gonna leave the skin on these and that's what's gonna become nice and crunchy. And we're just cutting little uh, crisscross in the skin and that's gonna prevent it from folding up too much. A heap of salt, that's gonna help it get nice and crunchy as well. That really dries out the, the skin and turns it into that kind of like pork crackling texture. All right, I think we're good to go. What's the plan with the corns, Fran? So what? we're gonna put the corns in aluminium foil with butter and salt and then straight on the coal. All good. hot and then it's show time. Let's test him out. Oh yeah, perfect. Look at that, nice and crunchy. Looking like crispy skin fish. All right, I'm ready to flip this one. Ready? Ready. Nice. All right, then once you leave your fish sit for a while, the skin goes all beautiful and crispy and the scales that we've left on, they end up becoming like almost the icing on the cake. They're the best bit, nice and crunchy and full of flavor. Mm -mm. There you go. Yeah. Thank you. How's yours, Fran? This is absolutely delicious. The skin actually has got all the fat and the tastiest bit in it. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. And Surprise guys, we're going for a mud crab night walk. Mud crab night walk. Yeah, you wanna come with us? <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. Can't wait. So as soon as that sun finishes setting, we we'll go for a walk, eh? Yeah. Sounds good. Alright guys, we just wanted to show you this because Jack is really proud of it. Look at him being so proud. <laughs> it's a good looking chimney fire. Oh no. What is it? It's gonna fall. <laughs> Look at it going. Just gotta hold it. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mud crab time. Yeah. So, Regan, we're gonna see any. What, you... <laughs> what was it? A big crab, you reckon? Maybe a big mullet. That's weird. All right, guys, we reckon <laughs> there's a crab here. There's, there's something that keeps trying to bite us, <laughs> and it's really hard. It just nailed me, hey, yeah, right, me right between the ankle. Oh, I'm so scared now. Should we just leave it? Yeah, leave it alone. He's angry. Ready? No. What is it? 
Is it a mullet? What, oh, it's a mullet. He's so shallow. What are you doing here? Wow, look at that. Right in the mud. They're everywhere, these guys. Where are the mud crabs, mate? Hey, guys. How are you going? Having a nice sleep? His head is so shiny. Alright, I'll let you be. Have a good night. You too. Sweet dreams. Oh, there's another one over there. Hello. Nice to meet you. Oh, she's so chill. Unfortunately, no crabs, guys, but thanks for coming for a walk with us through the mangroves. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Yeah, thanks so much for watching. See you guys. See, See you next, next week. Sunday.